Hello everybody and uh, welcome back for more World Cup action. We are continuing our World Football celebration today, starting in Group C. With today's first match, Argentina against Saudi Arabia. Stay tuned. So we are live from the Lusail Stadium. It's Argentina against Saudi Arabia, as I said earlier. And this is the venue for the final, a venue that certainly Argentina will hope to visit again on the 18th of December. But uh, for now, they are ready for their uh, debut at this year's World Cup. In what is their 18th appearance at this tournament, they have qualified by finishing second, six points behind uh, Brazil in the qualifiers. Saudi Arabia's sixth appearance qualified by finishing first in Group B above Japan with 23 points. Let's give the national anthems a listen now. It is a very sunny afternoon here and uh, we're now going to take a look at the starting lineups. Argentina first, they'll start with Martinez in goal, Molina, Romero, Otamendi and Acuna in defence. De Paul, Paredes and McAllister in the midfield. Captain Messi will make up the attack alongside Lautaro Martinez and Angel Di Maria. In just a few moments we're going to take a look at the Saudi Arabia team as well, their uh, first opponent at this year's World Cup. And so here we have it in goal, Al Owais, Al Buraik, Al Amri, Al Bulahi and Al Sharani in defence. Kano Al Malki in front of it, Al Sheri, Al Faraj and Al Dosari playing behind sole striker for today, Al Buraikan. So everything is ready, we are awaiting the first whistle to get things going and uh, we are expecting of course Argentina to debut with uh, a victory today but of course open to any kind of result and surprise but uh, I think it is well established that they alongside Brazil are the two great favourites at uh, winning this year's World Cup. A throw-in awarded to Argentina now. Messi receiving the ball, passing it to De Paul. He gets it in front to Martinez. Now Molina. Back to Martinez in the box. A great uh, pass. And then Messi attempted the shot. He's been blocked uh, just in time. Salman I'm trying to uh, build up something interesting here Saudi Arabia it's a good one on the left side whipped across in and the header lacked uh, power but it looked promising in the end a easy save for the goalkeeper it's McAllister it's a pass to Martinez now Messi, a chip pass in front to Di Maria, tried to head it back in the middle, but uh, there was uh, no teammate there to help him. Intercepted ball by De Paul. They almost lost it, Argentina. this again. Pass is cut off by Alborike. This looks promising for Saudi Arabia. As Sherry, oh, just when he wanted to pass it in the box, the attack came to an abrupt end. I do like how content the Saudi team is looking here. They, um, 
are brave enough or seem to be brave enough at least until now to try and get out of their own half and put a bit of pressure on Argentina but of course still the South American side appearing to be the much stronger team it's just that until now they haven't really created any chances of course there is still uh, time left for that and Otamendi wins the ball back in a situation where that was very much needed Martinez but Paul Messi passes back to him has a teammate on the right, has plenty more in front. There's a pass to Martinez and a shot that goes way over. A first um, shy attempt, I would call it. Because they uh, could have gotten so much more from this attack. But 20 minutes have passed in this match. Uh, no goals yet between Argentina and Saudi Arabia. And I must say, much more balanced than I expected. But, uh, of course... There is still a lot of time left and Argentina is slowly try, uh, starting to play the way they want. It's just that Saudi Arabia also has a good, uh, good portion of the ball there. Now they've lost it and they could be in danger. Martinez uh, preparing the shot. It's back on the ball and they're awarded a corner kick now. First of the match after this deflected shot. There's a low shot. Straight out the keeper and uh, not powerful enough to bother him. Let's see how they'll play out this corner. It's a short pass from Messi to the pole. Good dribbling there. And now Romero passing it behind. They lost it. The defending from Argentina once more. Martinez and now the pole blocked and Saudi Arabia is back in possession the passing up until that point where the ball has been lost I was expecting something more from uh, all those uh, good passes in the midfield there, but eventually the ball has been lost. And my goodness, what a tackle there by Otamendi. The third day of World Cup action, and so far we have seen some really interesting and exciting matches. Seems to be the case today as well, but uh, the only difference is that starting from today we're going to have four matches per day. Is it promising looking attack for Saudi Arabia? No. Should have attempted a pass back in the middle of the box. Another shot from that angle. So as I was saying, starting uh, from today on, four matches every day. And um, a busy schedule in the upcoming couple of weeks or so. But of course, I hope you are enjoying my coverage of this tournament. And uh, we'll continue to follow it uh, as we... We're going to uh, find out the teams that are qualified for the knockout stage and, uh, of course, approaching the big final uh, later next month. They win it back, Argentina. It's McAllister. Martinez. Another shot, another save, and another corner for Argentina. Excitement building up. The Argentine fans right behind the players. Di Maria, an interesting pass. The shot now, and it's a goal. Albuese, oh, Scruffy shot, it goes in. And finally, finally, the breakthrough comes in the 42nd minute. It's Lautaro Martinez with the goal. Very nicely played there by Di Maria. Goalkeeper got a touch on it, but it wasn't enough to keep it out. A bit unfortunate. Could feel bad for him, but 
Argentina's continuous uh, pressure in the last few minutes has finally paid off and they are in the lead with just just about three four minutes left until the break play resumes and uh, we will uh, have to see if uh, Saudi Arabia is going to try to create another chance or if they will prefer to sit back in defense and wait for the break that seems to be the case uh, so far one minute of stoppage time and let's see if they'll get something from this attack that was a good pass continues the run facing the goalkeeper now and uh, opted for what uh, should have been done last time around that is a foul and uh, I wonder if it's a penalty was it outside of I'm not certain yet yes it is a penalty it is a penalty and a huge moment for Saudi Arabia right before halftime Oh, he missed it! That was a great save. And what a way to end the first half. Argentina still leading, but it has been much more balanced than I think all of us have uh, expected. We'll have to wait for the second half to see if things will uh, be settled. Back with uh, the second half of this first Group C match at the 2022 World Cup. It's Argentina against Saudi Arabia with the South American side leading by just one goal. Scored by Lotaro Martinez in the 42nd minute. And uh, Saudi Arabia was so close. They had a huge chance to equalize right before the break from the penalty spot. They missed it. But now they are trying to fight back with this attack. Good defending once again from uh, Otamendi. Now a chance to break for Argentina. Martinez with the ball. Sees his teammate there perfectly. The ball. Martinez again. A pass on the left side to Di Maria. Cuts inside the box. He tried the shot himself. I think we could go for it from there, but uh, maybe a pass would have been more fruitful. Goal kick now. It's long one from Saudi Arabia's keeper. Good pass on the left side. And once again, Argentina's defense looking to be quite a, a fortress today. It's been stopped by Cano. Look at his solo run. And again, a pass attempted in the middle of the box. But uh, without a target. Paredes wins the ball back, passes to Martinez. Messi. It's a back foot pass to the pole. Martinez in the box again! Omar, that was great control and good finishing from him. And I think just unlucky not to score a second time. Got close enough, but not close enough to score, of course. A shame, really. One hour gone in the match, and uh, it's still a tight fixture here between Argentina and Saudi Arabia. Not even close to finishing things off. We need to put some pressure on the attacking players. Is a cross once again, well defended, but uh, they can avoid these uh, passes in front of goal. Argentina, if they're a bit more careful, I think. As I said, if they are a bit more tight on the marking. A shot now, and a corner kick awarded to Saudi Arabia, the first one, if I'm not mistaken. 
A change now. Gomez is stepping in for uh, Argentina ahead before their opponents. Change on each side, so. Let's see what they get from this corner. Ahead there. And way over the goal. But they're going to be happy with this performance, so they're certainly, especially if they're equalized, but even if the scoreline remains the same, they haven't looked bad at all in, uh, in this first match. Argentina building again. Gomez. The ball passing to Martinez, tries to break free. The pass was easily read there. And the ball is lost. Interception. The ball is quickly lost again. It's going to be a free kick. And another change. Dybala stepping in to replace uh, Di Maria. They are in need of uh, at least another goal, so this uh, substitution makes a lot of sense. Chipped ball, try to be headed, and oh my, that's quite messy. They get it away eventually, but uh, the goalkeeper should have retained the ball. Another free kick awarded. Another change, Talia Fico. Replacing Molina. And a defensive change as well. Another cross. And this time it's retained by Martinez. Possessed. So we passed it earlier. And we are in the final 15 minutes, just one goal between the two sides. And it uh, looks like uh, they could equalize at any moment, really. Oh no, they made a mess there. Is he gonna shoot? That was terrible. Another great chance for them to equalize, and oof, yeah, you, you should do much, much better from there. He cannot believe in himself, really disappointed with uh, that finishing. Oh no, another interception. Martinez palms it away, it's still with Saudi Arabia. And another save, but it's incredible the pressure they're putting on Argentina here in the final minutes of the match. They might win this one, but um, they'll have plenty of questions to ask themselves after the end of the match because they really have not played up to standard, up to expectations of their fans and even neutral fans. Situation quickly resolved there by the referee. And let the tensions escalate. It's a free kick now for Argentina. Messi placing the ball, looking to get a good cross in the box and hopefully score a second goal so they can ease the end of the match a bit. It's just a short pass on the right side to Otamendi. There's Messi again. Gomez attempted the shot. That's a wonderful save. And another corner kick awarded to Argentina. I think they'll once again go for a long ball here. We need to get in front of goal. And once again, they go for the short pass. It's well defended by Saudi Arabia. Let's see if they'll get it back. No, it's uh, another time to attack again. The ball. We've got a bad touch on the ball, Acuna wins it back. The 
Liverpool. Back with Messi. Martinez, that was a bad first touch. He can pass it on his left, the pole, or even shoots. And for the latter, but too late. Three minutes added. Still just uh, one goal in Argentina's favour. Tony Fico. Messi. Looking for teammates. Cross now. We need to connect with the ball there. Here's the final whistle and Argentina gets a win here, although after a very, very unconvincing performance, they will celebrate and be happy for the three points, of course, but they will have to improve their play style in the upcoming games. Thank you for watching this uh, first video today. Again, three more coming up. Denmark, Tunisia, France, Australia among them. Stay tuned for all the remaining World Cup action today. And thank you for watching.